Hey, what's going on, y'all? It is yours truly once again. I've been hearing a lot of people talk about being on your purpose, you know, in order for you to stay focused and uh, not worry about the temptations and stuff. You got to be on your purpose. Be a man on your purpose. I just think it's all overrated, man. And I'm not saying you accepting the idea of being a man on your purpose is wrong, but you know, I'm all about having that inverted perspective. So I have to kind of see things a little different, you know what I'm saying? Just because it doesn't mean I disagree. It just means that there's always another side to the story, right? So why would one think about the fact that being a man on your purpose is overrated? Well, because if you think about it, you're supposed to just live, you know what I'm saying? Be a man on purpose, right? Instead of just trying to be a man on your purpose, be a man on purpose, not be a man accidentally. It seems like through all these accidents, we try to finally get on our purpose. You see what I'm saying? I don't want to feel like my life has been an accident. I've made mistakes, but when I decide to be a man, that's when purpose kicked in immediately, right? Just being a man, being a man on your purpose. As a man, you are purpose. You have a purpose for being here. Just being a man is enough. And all those purposeful things shall show up in your life. See, to me, the purpose is on you. Yeah, the purpose is on you. You are not on your purpose. The purpose is actually on you. Things come your way. You don't have to necessarily be focused and dedicated to it per se. It'll just become a part of you. It'll just flow naturally. It'll be organic. So I just think really as far as how you can translate this to reality is... You know, don't, don't just be so caught up on being so focused on it. I think that'll come naturally as far as it being a part of you. And I think that's more important than the focus itself. Just work on it being a part of you to where you don't have to overthink about it. And because it's a part of you, you know what I'm saying? You're really, you really going to make sure that other things don't be a part of you. So keep that in mind. You know, if you can get anything from this video, yeah. It's not just necessarily about being a man on your purpose. You purposely want to make sure that you are a man at all times, not being a man on accident. You know what I'm saying? The purpose is on you. You don't have to be on the purpose. When you're a man, you are about purpose. You have a purpose for being here. You know what I'm saying? And of course, you're going to make sure that people in your life have a purpose for being around you, right? Because to me, when you have the purpose on you, you're not going to have a lot of bad people coming around your way. But see, when you have to be focused on a purpose, you're going to have somebody that's going to come around your way that's going to try to knock you off of your purpose. You see what I'm saying? So when something is a part of you and it's naturally a part of you, people can't just take that away from you or get you distracted from it so easily. So a lot of times when we have certain words, we have to realize the way we word them sometimes we need to re reword things and i think that's why i kept thinking about this because everybody kept talking about it. it's the popular narrative of the day being a man on your purpose being a man about your purpose no be a man on purpose purposely be a man being a man just comes naturally and those purposeful things shall come around your way man it shall magnetize itself to you just because you are who you are you didn't have to necessarily focus on that. You just started that. If somebody thinks this makes sense, give me a thumbs up. Signing out.